Okay, once you have your keyframes in place, and when you press play, it rotates the way you want to, never leaving the screen, we need to render an animation. So let's take a look at the things that need to be there for the full render of this spinning house. First of all, right here, we want it to be at 100%. I'm assuming you did a 20% already. Uh, I'm going to show you the way to do the full 100% here. And we are going to have to begin and end at frame 450. We want to have a location in output that's going to be just for this video. So here in the output folder, I'm going to make a new folder, 220128 simple house. I'm going to say what's in it, 450 frames, and this is at 100%. I always spell that out. I'm going to go into that folder, and the name of the file is going to be the same thing, 220128 simple house. 450 frames, 100%. Now it will add in which frames afterwards, but this information important to be in there, and I'm going to put my name in the file as well. So once we've got that, we've got to make sure that we're on FFmpeg video, otherwise we're going to get a JPEG, and we want an actual video. And when we do that, the encoding should already be set to the H264. But where and what kind of recording is super important. So I'm going to go ahead and check a couple more things. Um, this render as it goes. Just before it spends all that time, press play. And we've got it spinning. This is the view of the camera. We're seeing it here as well. If this was outside, we can see what's happening from other angles, but that doesn't change our video. There we go. So, render, render animation. This is going to take at least 15, 18 minutes. You can see each frame happening there a little bit at a time as it moves. It takes about three seconds for each frame, so you can calculate that and plan accordingly. You won't be doing this at the end of the period and expecting it to be there. There's one thing that I didn't do that makes me, okay, I better just stop this, close this, let's start over since I'm right at the beginning, and that's save the Blender file. I've made a lot of changes to this. This is going to be on the 28th. Simple house, 450 frames. I'm in my Blender folder so that if something happens to the render, I don't have to do all this work again. It's all saved. I would just come in, say render animation, and let it go again. If you are in one of the class periods where nobody comes in after you, you could just not sign out of the computer. You could just lock it and then leave it rendering. That would be second period, fourth period, as well as most of sixth period and ninth period. Um, your computers will be free afterwards so you can just leave this rendering and by the time the next class comes in and they have to reboot the computer just want to make sure your work was saved so you don't have to redo all the keyframing and camera positioning and light adjustments everything that you did to make this video possible